Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem three at chapter five. In this one, we consider you. We consider as a box, uh, just standing on a tree, and uh, this tree just uh, has axles in zero point two g. Uh, so ask you what is the minimum coefficient of static friction that uh, to keep you and the train to be relatively stationary. So in this one, first thing we need to do the consideration. In this case, you can say if you are in the train, you want to keep stationary with the train. That means you must have the same acceleration with the train. Do you agree? Yes. So you must keep the acceleration 0.2 g to keep stationary with the train. In this one, we do the force analysis. So first one, we consider the object has gravity as the normal force. The most important one, static friction. Static friction there. And this static friction makes the person has the same acceleration with the train. So the person and the train become relatively stationary. In this form, we can consider Newton's second law to write equations. First one, we consider vertical component. We have the normal force minus the gravity equals zero. And then we consider horizontal component. We have the static friction must equal to mass times acceleration. This acceleration just is 0.2 g to make the person and the train to be relative stationary. And then this uh, uh, fraction, static fraction must be the coefficient of static friction mu s times the normal force. In this one, you can see we input this quantity together. We find for fraction is mu s mg equals mass times acceleration. Therefore, we can we consider in the boundary, in the limit, the mu s static friction must equal to a divided by acceleration divided by the g. And then if we put a number inside, we find it is just a 0.2. Thank you.